I want to show you how to make a panel. And a panel is going to be several PCBs on one panel. And you'll see as we go what we're doing. This is handy if you're going to ship your board out. Advanced circuits will charge you $33 for 60 square inches. If you can fit more boards on there, it's a better deal. They charge you $50 more to make a panel. So if you're just getting two boards, it's cheaper. Two boards, 66 bucks. But if you can get four, five, six boards, I've, I've made very small boards to make adapters for LCDs and had as many as uh, 64 boards on one panel. And then the price gets a whole lot cheaper. You got one big panel. We just cut them apart when we get them back here on campus. So let's look at how to do it. First thing I'll need to do is add another PCB to our project. So I'll right click, add new to project, PCB. So I added one. Here it is, PCB1. Now I'm going to right click and say save as. And I'm going to call this projects PNL for panel. There we go. And I'll do a save all so my whole project is updated. And now I have this blank here, right? It's a blank PCB, and I need to move all the other PCBs in there. If you copy and paste PCBs in here, you'll end up having some problems because it's going to start referencing the designators. You might have an R1 on one board and an R1 on another board. It's going to add to it. It's going to say R1 underscore 1, or the other board will be R1 underscore 2. So it starts to get to be a mess. But right, let me show you the right way to do it. We're going to tell it we're going to place embedded board array or panelize. So I'll click that. Look at that. I already have some things attached. So I'm going to hit tab. And on the tab and the properties, I have PCB document. I can pick which one I want. So here's our op amp PCB. Tell it OK. I can tell it how many I want. Maybe on this one, I just want one and one, and that's okay. I can come down here and say the column margin, which is the space between boards. I'll make 20 mils. And this is my Y. So my Y is 1685. My column spacing it's the same thing. It's the X here plus the 20 mils. So my board is actually 2060, and I want a 20 mil space. Okay. Once I'm happy with that, I can take this board, place it on here. Now I'll hit tab and say, I'm going to add some more boards. Here's another PCB. And this one I might want to make it, let's see, two columns and maybe three rows. And this one is going to be. I measured this out beforehand so I know the size of my board. All right. So these little boards, once I'm ready, I can place them here. All right, I could even place more here if I wanted. All right, I'll right click and stop. Now, let me zoom out to what I have here. All right, so I have a bunch of boards on here. 13 boards. But you see the board shape isn't right. And one thing to keep in mind is for the student discount at advanced circuits, or Bay Area circuits, whoever you're going to use, they'll only cut out a square or rectangular board. So let's go to the keep out layer and we're going to draw a square or rectangle around all this. So we'll go to place, keep out, track, 
This will be the same thing we've done before. We'll start right here. And I'll come up here. 6370. Now I'm going to zoom out and just see where do I need to go here? I need to go right around here. So my X would be, say, 6350. 6350. All right, so I'll zoom out again. I'll come down to this line. Just drawing a box around here. I'll highlight one, hit the tab key so I select them all. I'll say design, board shape, select. There we go. And then I'll come up here and I'll say I want my origin to be here. That's now the zero, zero point. So let's just zoom out here. All right, there's my panel. And from this point, it's the same procedure, right? I have a board. I'm not going to pour copper on this because I'm shipping this board out. All I need to do is file, fabrication outputs, Gerber files. Remember that I'm doing 2x5. I turn on my used layers. I say OK. I'll generate Gerber's in a CAM file. There we go. And I'll come back to my panel. Files, fabrication outputs, NC drill files, inches, 2 by 5. Tell it OK. I generate all the holes. I'll say File, Save All. And I'll save these. And now, if we come here... Our project outputs. You'll see I have my projects panel. All right, there all the Gerbers for my projects panel. So that's how you make a panel. And it's nice to have a panel when you're going to ship a board out because, like here, we have 13, right? I probably could have got 15. I probably could have added two more here. And I could always do that. Let me see if I double click this. All right, now I'll bring up its properties. Let's see, I want to get just this guy. Properties. Let's make this one four. There we go. So now I have 15 boards on here. I'd have to regenerate my Gerbers before I ship this. But that's how to make a panel and to save money. Now you can imagine uh, it's $50 to panelize and $33 to make the board. And depending on how fast you do the shipping, it might cost you $125, but you got $125 spread into 15 boards. It's a lot cheaper per board. All right, so let's do a file, save all again. I'm a big fan of saving everything so we don't lose anything. And this will conclude our, our uh, video on how to make a panel. Thanks for watching.